Wall was savvy for his morning walk. She got a big surprise. Her dog lunged after my dog, bit him really badly, and then turned around and bit me. She claims here that the wall viciously attacked Sammy, nearly killing him. She also claims she received a severe bite on her leg that she was able to treat on her own. I'm from a family of surgeons, so I went inside and I cleaned it all out myself. Enough for one thousand dollars, a total that includes her veterinary bills, plus what she says it will cost to hire a psychologist to treat her for her emotional distress. Irna says that her dog never bit Kate or her dog, and that every word Kate says is a total lie with one obvious objective. Some people are hungry for money, and you know, she probably had some bills. I don't know what the connection with the bills she had, and she just wanted to make some money on us. Irna also maintains it's Kate who broke the law by having her dog off leash. Having her dog off the leash, she should be punished. Should Irna have to pay for dog bites she claims never happened? Judge Maz is about to convene street court on the city block where the plaintiff lives and where the incident occurred. Tell me what happened. I came outside um, on my way to work. Her dog bit my dog, turned around and bit me. Was your dog on the leash? Yeah. Was her dog on the leash? Yes. Okay, and um, I take it you, what she's saying is uh, not true. Well, it's to absolutely... your version of the event. Yes, it's absolutely not true. Is your dog on the leash? Yes, my dog is on the leash. We're going up the street while Kat is going down the street, very far away from her dog. I'm picking up the poop. I'm cleaning up to my dog, and her dog runs towards my dog and starts attacking her, barking at her, uh, off the leash several times. And her dog's off the leash, her dog's according to your the leash. testimony. Yes. I'm picking up the poo, so my dog responds towards her dog because, you know, she was pretty calm, she was minding her business, and then there is a small dog barking at her, attacking her. So she responded towards her, she started like snapping at her. Right, little I chihuahua comes up to the big dog, starts barking at it. Did your dog bite him? No, I didn't see the bite. Did your she dog did bite what? her? I didn't see the bite as well. I don't like her behavior, that's for sure. She's been acting up strangely. She's been accusing us of things that didn't happen. Did you go up to her and say, is everything yes, okay? I was, is everything saying, okay? It, I was saying they're holding my dog because it was barking. And I asked her, are you okay? Is everything okay? She didn't respond to me. She went towards her dog. She was standing with her dog. I was waiting for a few, let's say, a minute. Did you see any blood? No, I didn't see anything. Did you see any blood on the dog? No. On her? No. no. Sidewalk? No. I have to disagree with her statement completely. Go ahead, um, Kate. I came out of my house. The next thing I knew, her dog bit my dog and then bit me. I was wearing shorts, if you remember. You were not wearing shorts. Yes, I was wearing no. green shorts. You, it wasn't my dog then. This is the funniest thing because you were not even going home. You were going home from up the street. You were going down the street. Okay. All right, so now you get bit on the leg. You get bit, your dog gets bit. Where do you go? Do you go right to the emergency room? No, I was more concerned about my animal. Okay, so do you go to a vet? When? Uh, I went that day. All right, so now August what's the condition of the dog? What happens to the dog? The dog has uh, stitches. The dog, they put them under anesthesia, you know, all that stuff. Um, they stitched him up, and then I called my mom. After you go to the vet, what's the condition of the dog? Bad. How many stitches? I don't know, a gazillion. How many? A gazillion? I don't know how many, I don't... Are you for real? Yes! <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, I swear to you. I swear on anyone's Don't swear to me. There's higher authorities than me. Trust me. He's had um, some surgeries and some stitches and some rechecks and uh, he's, like, he's on all sorts of medicines and like painkillers and, and didn't take him out for two months after that. He was allowed to go outside. It couldn't be what she's telling. There is no, no way it could be my dog. Coming up, Judge Maz calls on a dog expert to help separate fact from fiction, and the plaintiff challenges his testimony. I can see no evidence of a dog bite. As serious as she was describing, seems it was only two months ago. But he didn't actually see what happened. But first, the countdown of Street Court's top five huckaleros begins.